now i will talk about another method of noise subtraction where we don't see any particle streak in the image if there is no particle streak then we can apply this method this is called histogram method so say this is our image and in the image if you look at there is no particle streak so if there is no particle streak then so ideally when there is a tissue or when there is a sample then SNR of that portion is high compared to SNR of uh, when there is no tissue this is actually air we took the image of agar sample this is the air here SNR is low so this is a two by two dimensional matrix so here each component each pixel has certain value of the SNR now if we take all the SNR value and plot the histogram so if we plot the histogram of all the data here we took the spectral bin so total bin number is around 200 and this is the intensity of the data this is in normal scale so ideally what do you see from this image we see that when there is a tissue or when there is a sample then the SNR is high compared to the noise region so if we do the histogram of this image then we will find the peak position of intensity where there is a tissue right so tissue or sample tissue or sample then we will find the highest intensity value and the low reason is a low intensity value like the noise noisy value then one way we can deal with this histogram method is that we can determine the peak and we can find the half point of the peak and we can use this peak information as well as this uh, information to calculate the noise of the data one thing to notice is that in this method we are actually subtracting the noise conservatively why i'm saying that we are subtracting conservatively because uh, in the previous two method we are subtracting a line from uh, all the data so it may happen that after subtraction of the noise for some of the pixel the value might go to negative so snr value might go to negative so if snr value goes to negative and if we use that data to feed in the calculation of the attenuation coefficient our attenuation coefficient will be wrong so that's not a good idea so if we subtract the noise little bit less than uh, what we have done from earlier to method then the intensity value will not go to zero then from using that intensity if we calculate the attenuation coefficient our value will be accurate than other two method of subtraction of noise so to do that what i did is uh, uh, say we have the intensity data then we calculated the spectral uh, histogram we have the histogram and we calculated the peak value this is the peak value noise peak and we calculated the half value like an position of the index of the half value so we have two information one is the peak value this peak value and we have the uh, what is at the half point what is the value of that if you look at the peak value should be around uh, 
5000 on this data and say here the this value is about 5600 like this and the half value is around uh, uh, the half value is around uh, 2000 or oh, this is taken uh, and finally we can calculate the noise using uh, some factor we selected this this noise level equal to minus 2 you can play with these things uh, to see finally which come out so we are taking the noise peak plus what we are doing not actually plus we are subtracting because this value is negative noise peak minus whatever the noise at the half part so we are taking a ratio and we are doing this frame wise so for one frame we are calculating a noise and that's same for all the airlines for all the pixels so we are subtracting one fixed noise value for all the noise for all the data so that's the fundamental difference that we are not subtracting uh, a line wise we are subtracting the noise uh, for one a line uh, so we are subtracting the noise only single value from all the pixels that is that is we are subtracting the same amount for say the stop pixel bottom pixel or every pixel we are subtracting similar way and the other methods we did little bit different we subtracted say depth profile wise it was different so this is another way to do that so this method only you can apply to those images where there is no vertical streak and uh, intensity is uh, homos almost homogeneous uh, either need to be homogeneous but uh, you are actually subtracting the same amount from all the data points.